loves, it's Haley Reese and I just finished my past life regression with the wonderful Vivienne. It was such an incredible experience and I think we're going to sit here and kind of decode what happened and see what I felt because wow it was very, um, if you've watched the video you know it was very intense so we're going to kind of talk about it here and mm -hmm. what, what's your take on what I experienced? I knew that once we were in, like you were fully in there, I noticed that your eyes were flickering quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, you mentioned crying, so I caught that a little bit. Yeah, you guys, my yeah. eyes, okay, so <laughs> I was laying there and I was, I, I hadn't even like died yet or figured out like the seriousness of my life, but tears just started coming down my face and I couldn't control them and it was so strange because physically, because I could feel physically and I could feel where I was mentally and actually it was strange I literally could not like feel my legs like my legs felt very like in a trance and asleep and so did my body Good. but my neck up felt like I was coherent mm -hmm. and I felt like uh, and that's very typical yeah so that's good okay that's, that's a good thing yeah. so I felt like um, physically I wasn't sad like in this lifetime I wasn't sad but I couldn't control the tears of whatever I was thinking or feeling or what my soul was recognizing from that life from coming down. Like, I hope you guys can see it in the video because honestly, <laughs> it, didn't it was stop the so floodgates. many tears and I couldn't even move to wipe them and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> <Your hands laughs> and like I had them going in my ears because I was so teary and that lasted up until I think it, I stopped crying physically like when I realized where this all comes full circle in this lifetime. So like that was interesting to me because once I realized like what everything kind of meant to me in this life and where it carried here, my eyes stopped like tearing. Well, this is the thing. So so it does happen uh, with some people yeah. for sure, and it's just it's just releasing. So you weren't in a big sob like big no, emotional no. or anything like that. So it's just releasing, and and that's right. So there at the end when your deeper self mm -hmm. had. A deeper understanding of that lifetime and, yeah. and the connections to this lifetime to the present life it's yeah. like oh the tears just stopped yeah so it's it's one way of it it's a very powerful way yeah that uh, the body did the clearing so it was great I was really happy that uh, we were able to yeah like, no I was happy with how quickly I was a little bit shocked at first because right when you said like that I was there I automatically saw grass and I saw this baby sitting in it and I didn't mention it right when I first saw it because I was like, this is a little weird. Like, why is there a baby in the middle of grass and there was a forest? So at first I was like, maybe I'm like, you know, Indian or I'm living in the sure. forest or whatever it was. And then I looked down and I realized that wasn't the case. It's so crazy, guys, because right from the beginning, and I think I mentioned it, I have like a really bad pain at the top of my head, like right on the left side. And it's gone now, which is so Good. strange because Good. it's like, Good. it was so prominent and I could feel it physically as well as mentally. And then as soon as I acknowledged it, the pain went away. And then when we got to that part in like my life, the pain came back again. And then it only went away when I disconnected, which was like, I wish, like, I wish I could explain it. You literally, I literally felt. So it. let me ask you mm -hmm. something. Um, do you normally have uh, like headaches or pains yeah. in your in your head? Yeah. Okay. So, so. So Haley, just look at me, and you know we can just take this as an opportunity yeah. to uh, to release uh, the energetic connection right. that uh, these headaches that you have in your present life uh, have. You know, the releasing the connections that they have uh, to this past life, right. and that you're released from that pain, right. and there's no need for you to experience headaches like that uh, for no reason. Sure, mm -hmm. there's going to be times, you know, yeah, that it's okay. That it's yeah. okay for our bodies to alert us. The pain we need to experience pain. It's alert, our alert system. Right. But now with this deeper understanding and this experience you just have, uh, what no longer serves you around those headaches, you're now able to fully release. Right. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. No. I. I, I, <laughs> I just did a little touch. Is Inside that, secret. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. No, yeah, I would like to because for years I've suffered Good. from migraines. Good. And I get them in weird ways and stuff. Like it's not like a typical migraine. So right. that's that was interesting to me. Good. Just like, yeah, I lose my vision, which is, which is weird because when I had in this, if you watch the, if you haven't watched the past life video, you need to go watch it before you watch this one because it won't, won't make complete sense, sense to you. But when he had hit me over the head, I felt like 
it was his way of torturing me to die like by just dying there without needing to continuously hit me. Right. And I felt like, which is crazy, uh, my grandma's here, she just mentioned how I lose my vision when I get migraines, mom's here too. And um, when I get that, everything starts to go cloudy and colors kind of go together and when I felt like I was dying in that light, yes. that vision went like that too. Everything went cloudy in the colors and, and it felt very flashy. So I find that interesting that yeah. um, so right it kind of you're carries connecting, over. Yeah. Connecting the dots. Yeah, definitely. So I think that was really, really strange. And it's also interesting to me how at the very beginning when she asked me if I knew the child right away, I thought that's my sister's soul. And near the end, I realized that that child in that life felt very abandoned because they didn't understand what had happened to their mother or why they didn't have one. And the father wasn't in the picture, so I'm presuming that the child grew up an orphan, like with whoever had adopted. And my sister, for some reason, ever since she was born, has carried these abandonment issues, which to me just is unbelievable because I was not thinking of any of that when this came into play, which proves to me that this was a very real experience because there's no way that I would have thought well in that trance to piece two and two together and right. it happened so naturally and so I'm definitely a believer that I went to a past life for sure. Oh yes, you did. Definitely. So so tell uh, share with yeah. everyone, like how did you actually experience it? Did you see it? Did you feel it? What were how was the information so, coming to you? When I first came up, I saw like as if I was dreaming the grass, the baby and the trees and then it kind of faded into just like silhouettes of the area. So I okay. could see like I knew there was grass because I could feel it where I was standing. I don't think I had shoes on and I knew that there was trees but it kind of went in and out. And then I just, even at some points, I knew the baby was there even if I didn't see it. Like there were okay. parts of... So there was a knowing? There was a knowing Great. and there was also yeah. a viewing. And then when it came to my death, I didn't so much see it as I did feel it. Like I knew ahead of time what was coming by seeing him and feeling the pain. It was almost as if my my subconscious was almost not sheltering me from that experience but showing it to me in a less painful way because it was such a, a horrible way to die I'm sure um, so to me that was more feeling and I could see certain things in my head but there was no like gore or anything and then um, after I felt what I what I felt was like the hit and everything and saw the person leave me there it was more if I came out and look could see myself below right. laying there and I could feel still in my head the thoughts that I was experiencing so I could feel like that I was worrying about the baby what was going to happen and that I was very angry at the person who had, who had caused this because in my head I wasn't mad that everyone knew that I had this gift in my head I was mad that it cost me my child because right. people took it away because a baby can't be raised by a witch right. and it was all this woman's fault in my mind for having exposed me and so my last thoughts were definitely anger and like like Trust issues. It's, it's so interesting. This is it. So the I lack to of bring trust. It, bring it back to the trust. Yeah. There was a number of people you didn't trust in that life. Def I don't think I trusted anyone, anyone. besides my but, baby. And yes. I think that that's where I found myself at the beginning of the past life because I feel like it was significant for me to understand that all I wanted to do was run away with this child. But my father was saying, where are you going to go? Like, you have a right. baby. Like, where are you going Where are you going to raise a kid? The baby will get sick. And that was a big fear. I could feel that was a really big fear um, amongst everyone there. So I think... A lot of it was feeling, but a, a lot of it was seeing as well. I think sure. when it came to the more emotional things, I felt so more than I saw. But um, I'd like for you, like on your own, in the hours and the yeah. days and the weeks to come, to um, to further explore uh, the trust issues yeah. that came up in this uh, in this past life, mm -hmm. and 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 see how they connect or what comes to you uh, of your present life because you're still very young and this is a really fantastic time for you yeah. to put a lot of this stuff to, to rest. Yeah. You know, and, and I, come to peace with it. I think for me as well, like another thing that I've kind of noticed is in this life, like this present life, when I was younger and I would have these paranormal or spiritual experiences with my family, I never told anyone. I had maybe like one or two friends that I would tell because I feared that people would think I was weird or yeah. they would make fun of me. And someone commented on one of my videos asking me if I had, um, if maybe my bullying was part of me having told people about the my little invisible friends okay. and stuff. And, I, and it wasn't because I hadn't told anyone. And I think that maybe a part of 
this life journey is to be able to share my spirituality with people without the fear and this platform and, and this. I know, and, you're, and she's yeah. doing it. And <laughs> it's, she's, it's crazy. And, and you so. guys are loving it. And yeah. It's helping so many people. And, uh, and this is it. I think we all need to kind of come out of the closet. And, I think so. I think that at times we live in such a scary world right now and that there's, there's so much of a question of faith just because there are some horrible things going on in the world and sometimes I find myself questioning my faith in those trying times, but I think that we need to just feed the world with more spirituality, more faith, more understanding of each other and um, try, to, try to get energy from situations and realize that there is good, there is, there is life beyond this and I think the more that we can get in touch with that, the greater that we'll all be able to live because when you realize that you're, you're beyond a physical being, yes, absolutely. it makes you be more like empathetic towards other people because you realize this is temporary. This, this is temporary. This skin we are, color, this religion, exactly. this, this is temporary. We're so much more, we're beyond that. And um, we are full energy beings. Oh, totally. So you had an experience in the session to kind of like drop the body yeah. and experience yourself in an energetic state. Yeah, definitely. And that is our pure state. That is our natural state. Yeah. So here's one way of, of experiencing that, you know. Yeah. If you guys are looking to have a past life regression done, like I said, I'm going to leave all of her links down below. She can definitely point you in the right direction if you're not in the area or if you are. I recommend coming and experiencing it. It's something that you definitely have to experience to be able to understand. So I'm very thankful for you for being on my channel and, oh, thank and you. allowing this experience. So Come thank here. you so much. I'm so thankful. And um, guys, make sure to leave her a comment down below telling her how much you enjoyed this and love her. I know that she'll love to read that. And go over to her channel and drop her some comments and likes as well. And I guess that's it for this video. Remember, my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, Love you!